My name is Schmidt and welcome back to Slate the Spire. We're going to be playing The Defect on Ascension 11. Ascension 11, a little bit of a recap here. Uh, elite spawn more often. Normal enemies are deadly or elites are deadlier. Bosses are deadlier. Heal less after boss battles. Study trying damage. Normal enemies are tougher. Elites are tougher. Bosses are tougher. Study trying curse it in fewer potion slots. 7 max HP for 350. Ooh, I can get a very early shop as well. Well, all right. You've hooked me. Line and sinker. Let's go for it. Just for double defend here. Basically, I'm going to be waiting for a dual cast turn. Something like that, but with a wit bit more pizzazz. A wee bit more of a punch. Take a static discharge. I'm going to take a lot of damage here on the first floor. May as well make use of it. Uh, Chemical X. The effects of X cost cards in your hand. Oh, in your hand. Rather, in general. Uh, increase by two. That can be really, really good. Uh, with uh, Tempest for this character. As well as the reinforced body. However... Molten Egg this early in the game is ridiculous. You just start picking up a bunch of pre-upgraded attacks, especially on the first floor. It's really difficult to turn down. I'll take that, and then I'll take two attacks thereafter. Sweeping Beam as well as Streamline. I got him. Ooh, we'll even take a go for the eyes. Get some weakness in. Love it. Lose that 5 max HP. Get that golden idol for 25% more gold from fights. Or rather, enemies drop 25% more gold. There could be a subtle difference there. I'm not noticing. Okay, so like this is going to be a great fight for Static Discharge. So Static Discharge is in a position that I think I've explained this before, but I will explain it a little bit again here because it seems extremely relevant currently. Static Discharge is in the position of you never want to trigger it, but when the Ascension level gets high enough, you're just going to be taking damage at some points. And to benefit to a pretty ridiculous degree from each point of damage taken... It's definitely worth it. Letter on it. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies, as well as... Oh, my God. It's like a pre-upgraded ball lightning. Sure. Mm, no. I'll completely pass this shot. Meat on the bone. If your HP is at or below 50% at the end of combat, heal for 12 HP. And then at this shop... Pre-upgraded Sunder. Pre-upgraded Melter. Even a pre-upgraded Dramatic Entrance isn't awful. I'll take the Sunder. Having a single large hit is going to help me get through a lot of elites. Or rather, can help me get through a lot of elites. Should definitely be Streamline and Sweeping Beam here, right? No, it's Streamline Ball Lightning. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Got him. Bye-bye, Gremlin Knob. Hello, Mercury Hourglass. At the start of your turn, deal three damage to all enemies. Thunderstrike. Beautiful. That's the kind of thing I was thinking when I picked up the ball lightning. I've already got some lightning generation in this deck. Let's go. Let's actually do the Thunderstrike deck that I have been trying to do for so damn long. I have to wake the enemy up this turn. I didn't plan on it, but because they took the three damage at the start of the turn from the Mercury Hourglass, yeah, this kind of was an inevitability. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to use the Fear Potion here. All right, Runic Dedecahedron, if your HP is full, gain energy at the start of your turn, as well as a bunch of stuff I'm not going to take there. All right. Let's 
We'll murder the one that would have done more damage to me. Another ball lightning. Totally makes sense for this deck. Thank you very much. I'll start to upgrade defense here as well. Just because we haven't got many defensive things in the build so far. So it could be quite helpful. Okay. So... Three from this. The start of the next turn, they'll be attacked. And then they'll try and start splitting. They'll be attacked by the, uh, the Mercury Hourglass, by the way. Uh, so... I can zap Thunderstrike for 27 damage against them. Now I'll use the Fear Potion in order to increase that to 39. 45 with the two Lightning Strikes thereafter. I hate that we just drew the Thunderstrike. Like, it is actually the worst draw that we could have gotten there. Oh, well. Fruit Juice gained 5 max HP. Extremely good for us. Having a higher max HP total means that we can be more safe when the meat on the bone triggers. Right? Obviously, if you have 2 max HP, you don't want to be on 1 HP. But that is what would trigger the meat on the bone. If you have 5,000 max HP, well, 2,500 is still a reasonable amount of HP to have. And you can trigger the meat on the bone. Uh, Pre-upgraded Meteor Strike. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to take it. We already have Sunder and Thunder Strike in the deck, as well as a uh, Streamline. So if we do see Snack OI after this, we definitely take that. But also Meteor Strike with the Runic Dodecahedron, as well as full HP, as well as an Energy Potion after this. Energy Potion, Energy Relic rather. Uh, means that I can play the Meteor Strike outright. But regardless of any of those, Neon is an achievement I still need to finish for this character. Ooh, no Energy Relic. Lame. Frozen Core replaces Cracked Core. If you end your turn with any empty orb slots, channel one Frost. We don't want to do that, because if we do, we're not going to have the Lightning for the Lightning build. Uh, I guess I'm going to take the Tiny House here. Upon pickup, gain one potion. Obtain one potion, rather. Uh, gain 50 gold. Raise your max HP by five. Obtain one card and upgrade one random card. I... Okay, I could do that, or I could take the Eternal Feather, which would only heal me for 12 per campsite. But that 12 could help keep us topped off with Runic Dodecahedron, so kind of forming between these two a faux energy relic. Extremely faux. Mega faux. Okay. Well, this is already lame, though. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's get below half it. Wow, I actually didn't want to get below half HP, but it looks like uh, I'm on my way from misery to happiness in that one. Or the inverse. Uh, let's take a reinforced body. It's a powerful singular defensive card. Ah, uh, sure, I'll more than happily remove probably a strike from this deck. Thwack. Okay, I do actually... Hmm. See, the problem with Thwack here, which is the way that I have evidently decided to refer to this event. The problem with Thwack in this situation is that we just aren't on reasonable HP right now. So, actually, if we can finish this fight and be on reasonable HP... 10, 16, 16... I mean, so this probably kills the backliner... And I take three HPs more worth of damage. Cannot kill the enemy with the Sunder here, unfortunately. Fine, I'll throw a fire potion, save myself some HP. Uh, the meat on the bone heals me up, so now I actually will fight for victory here. I want to see if I can get it, frankly. Well, that sucks. If the Frontliner was hit there, I was going to Fire Potion Sunder to kill the Frontliner. Oh well, guess I don't get to do that. What lameness. Uh, Thunderstrike is turning up a little early here, unfortunately. If 
Probably should have used the upgraded defend there, actually. Cool. I'll take my incense burner. Every six turns, gain one intangible as well as 10 max HP from the pair. All right. Take a single copy of Beam Cell and move onwards. I actually feel pretty good about that, ultimately. Could have been a lot worse. All right. I'll take six damage here, but... Murder everyone. Bullseye. Two lock on. No, not really my kind of thing. Uh, Yeah, I should fight them. The mask is actually really important. We have a lot of AoE damage. Okay. So I purposefully gave myself less defense this turn so that the frontliner would trigger, uh, trigger me twice. Nice. Or rather would trigger the effect of my static discharge twice. Uh, red mask. At the start of each combat, apply one weak to all enemies as well as just a bunch of stuff I don't want there. Definitely got to get this reinforced body upgraded. For those occasional turns where I actually decide to defend. I know, they happen. I know it's surprising. Hey, nice. Actually managed to take out all the creeps there. Uh, Thunderstrike is a bit much right now. Or rather, not enough right now. Definitely a better way to have played that turn, frankly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Morning! Backliner don't attack this turn! Backliner didn't attack this turn. Beautiful. I will beam cell and then just done a strike for the kill. The boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five, as well as a copy of Tempest, which totally makes sense in this deck. Now I am kicking myself about having not previously picked up the Chemical X, because I now have uh, both the Tempest and Reinforced Body in this deck. And instead of Chemical X, I picked up Molten Egg. I could have upgraded these cards in due time. Shuriken, every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Okay, that actually happens relatively often. And because we have a couple of multi-attack cards in this deck, which is to say the Thunderstrike in particular, uh, we can actually benefit a lot from the Shuriken. Mmm. Hey, got him. Uh, block potion as well as... Do I want to take the consume? So I can take consume and then I can just consume all of my slots and just keep playing consume until I have the achievement. 25 focus, right? It doesn't make sense to do in high ascension. That's a low ascension thing. That's like an achievement hunting thing. So I do want to play three skills this turn so I can deal five damage AOE. It's also really important that I play the ball lightning and get that extra. Okay, so the enemy is 21 incoming damage. So the block potion here only protects me for four. Not reasonable enough. Thankfully, all of my opponents were weakened on turn one. Thank you, red mask. If I discarded that potion, I would have been really mad. I don't like that drink and discard are so close to one another and there's no con uh, confirmation. It's just you choose one and then it immediately happens. It's like, well, what if I didn't mean that one? Well, at least I'm going to heal at the end of this combat now. Frozen egg. Whenever you add a power card to your deck, upgrade it. Uh, take a single copy of hologram. Sure. Definitely want to go fight another elite, though. Beautiful. We've got intangibility next turn.
So I only have to block for three this turn. Or I can just block for nothing. Which I could be fine with. Uh, and in fact, I am fine with. Because now I get to generate six lightning for only three damage taken. Which guarantees that the enemies die to something like a Thunder Strike. That's a 90 damage Thunder Strike on that turn, by the way. Uh, take another copy of Sweeping Beam, sure. We are ill-prepared for AoE fights, so that's effectively why I'm taking them. Sure. All right, as soon as we get this lightning, we're fine. 80 damage. It's pretty good. Preserved insect. Enemies in elite fights have 25% less HP. Another go for the ice is probably a bit much. Hold off now. If I had one more energy, it'd be streamline, hologram, streamline, but I don't, so it won't be that. Uh, let's go ball lightning, hologram, ball lightning. Just generate as much in the way of bald lightning as we can. Great. Only three damage this turn. So weakening an enemy when they have intangibility on them actually doesn't affect them in the way that you might expect. Intangibility says reduce all damage taken and uh, all damage and HP loss to one. So you don't reduce from one after that. Something has been reduced to one. You're reducing its initial value, which is then being reduced to one from the intangibility. It is the overriding factor there. Uh, yep, we're done with those. Let's get another defend upgraded. I'm just constantly terrified we're not going to have enough HP. The thing that actually makes the most sense here is just generate the giant tempest there. To try and set up for a much more impactful turn in the future. Uh, yikes. Unfortunately, neither of those went in the right direction. I wanted at least one of the lightnings to hit that frontliner. Thankfully, the backliner is not attacking this turn, and we can kill the frontliner to generate lightning strike. So now we know that we've got thunder strike. The problem is thunder strike is going to be after I'm weakened. Thankfully, I'm intangible this turn. My God, I desperately needed that. After I'm weakened, but it's also going to be in between my first and second deck shuffle. So you'll hear me talk about this concept often, which is if the cards are at the bottom of your deck, you draw four of them, then you shuffle your discard pile and draw another card in order to complete your full complement of five in your hand. And because of that, I get to play this Thunderstrike. It goes to my discard pile, but this is my this is my deck, right? This is my whole deck again. I will have played all of these cards twice, but Thunderstrike once. I did want to use the steroid potion there, but I was weakened, so I would have gotten like three damage out of the steroid potion, basically. I'd love to hologram back the uh, streamline, but unfortunately... Streamline? I did hologram back the streamline. I'd love to hologram back the uh, lightning strike, but unfortunately that's not possible. All right. Need an energy relic to do something like that. I mean, Core Surge is just high damage. Yeah, I gotta take it. Fusion Hammer. Gain energy at the start of your turn. You can only smith at rest sites. You know what? That's fine by me. I pre-upgrade my Frozen Egg, so power and attack cards. Uh, so skill cards are as little bit of a sticking point for me right now, but mm, it's, it's fine. I need the extra energy and none of the other options were going to give it to me. Okay. I'd like, like, an abundance of shops on this route, if I can get it. I'd quite appreciate something like that. 
There's one marked for me already on this route, but it's, it's the unmarked ones that I'm going to be relying on. self repair the end of combat, heal for 20, uh, 10 HP. That's actually really important because of the runic dodecahedron. Okay, in the second turn of this fight, we'll have the incense burner trigger, so I actually think I can take this combat where I otherwise probably wouldn't. It's going to be really important in this combat that we ramp up the lightning. So here's our intangibility already. Set up a self-repair. Ball lightning, hologram, ball lightning makes a lot of sense here. Ball lightning, hologram the ball lightning out. Use another ball lightning. Easy Sunder Murder right there. I'm not below half HP, unfortunately, yet. Oh, well. I only get my 10. Oh, no, I got... Wait, I was under half, uh, half HP? 38 out of 78? Because <gasps> 39 is the split there. Oh, beautiful. So we actually got the maximum healing available to us there. Uh, Thread Needle, Stardust Combat with 4-Plated Armor, quite useful. Take another Ball Lightning. Probably have too many Ball Lightnings in this deck at this point. Let's remove one. <laughs> useful. Uh, Don the Red Mask, get 222 gold. Nice. Uh, would like more shop opportunities here. It's the fun new way that I say shop and opportunity at the same time. Portman who? Portman what? Never heard of her. Uh, Defragment is pretty good for this deck. Just increases our damage pretty drastically. So does uh, Tori increase our defense. I'll take the membership card. I'll take Tori. I'll take Defragment. And then I'll remove a strike. <laughs> Prayer wheel. Normal, enemy, uh, normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Do I? Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity to spend the rest of my money over the course of this run. So we'll give it a go. That could mean a lot worse. 34. Good lord. Right, I'm going to hologram back the streamline so that I can kill the backliner here. Uh, defend or self repair? I don't think I'm getting back to self repair if I don't play it here. So it's just five more defense than defend, right? It's just not defending it. It's healing it instead. Ooh, I don't know if this one's going to work well for us. It does not look like it will. Oh, never mind. We're intangible this turn. Yay. Intangibility. Good thing we were. That Meteor Strike is just useless to us now. We should have admitted that a lot earlier and removed it. Boot sequence, innate 13 block. I do quite like that. Uh, I will drop a steroid potion for a strength potion so that I can actually maintain my extra damage for the entirety of the fight. So I try and share the damage equally here. Oh, I end up being taking one myself. That's fine. Uh, I try and share the damage equally here so that I can kill them all vaguely around the same time. So five, this gets amplified to 10. Gives me a chance to kill the Darkling in the front line. Didn't work, all right. Oh, God. Well, that's lame. Got to heal up a pretty reasonable amount there. I'll take another static, I'll take another static discharge. Look, it's an interesting deck to try and build, right? It's, it just it, it's static discharges. That's it. That's the deck. It's static discharges. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that's awful. So I'm probably going to hologram back the reinforced body, play that for as much as I possibly can. Well, we got below half HP, which was a goal. In a sense, sure. Ugh, another 40... Yikes. Four, ten, nine, nineteen, uh, it's twenty-three, forty-three. The enemy's dead. Yeah, we've got him. Woo! I was worried. Uh, Art of War. If you don't play any attacks during your turn, gain additional energy next turn. Not super common for us, but it might happen. Gambling chip at the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. I'm going to take the Sapphire Key and see if I can kill the heart with this build. I don't think I can, but eh, you know what? Let's make mistakes. There's something almost romantic about knowing it's a mistake and going, you know what? Yeah. That might be a mistake, but it's the mistake I'm going to make, damn it. I mean, look. Oh, God, yes. Just blow the enemy up. Love it. No. Also, no. I have to rest for no reason here, but I do now actually have the runic to decahedron active. For an extremely limited period of time, I have to imagine. But I'm pleased about it nonetheless. Oh, yeah, but the, my time in the sun is over, I'm afraid. <laughs> I get to immediately lose it. Well, at least we got him in the end. Juicy bracelet. Normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in the question mark rooms, as well as just like a bunch of no. Hello, the maw. Immediately negate the... I think it was weakness you were trying to apply there. I would have actually preferred if you had hit me that turn, so the damn thread needle is getting in my way. I could have struck there in order to get the shuriken trigger. Totally valid and true. Alright, we should have the kill next turn. Come on, Thunderstrike. Come on, Thunderstrike. As I said, we should have the kill next turn. Regen Potion! Can be good. Take another reinforced body, I think, here. I think the Essence of Steel is really good right now because I have the Thread Needle as well. All right, Time Eater. I know your deal. Ah! Oh, I'm strike turning up this early? I don't know about that one. Okay. Next turn, I can take damage. This turn, no! Oh, I really want to play that Meteor Strike, but the Static Discharge makes sense. Oh, Static Discharge doesn't make sense. The enemy's not even going to hit me this turn. Yeah, played it armor. Woo! I am glad I figured that one out. Otherwise, I would have been absolutely irate. Would have been ropeable. Nice. Mm -hmm. Please generate me the lightning. 
Hit me harder time, daddy. Oh, yes. Beam cell sunder. They're going to purge now. Oh my gosh, this might work. I'm going to hologram back the lightning strike and hit you for... Damage. Look, I don't need to count it. Because it was what I was going to do, frankly, regardless. Just to see that lovely, lovely thunderstorm going down. Oh, we are extremely on full HP right now. Uh, Pantograph, the start of boss combat seal for 25 HP. Nice. Do you want that? Definitely want to remove the Meteor Strike now. Oh, but this Meteor Strike, this one looks trustworthy. Uh, toolbox at the start of each combat, add a random colors card into your hand. Yeah, sure. Can't help too much. Can't hurt too much, Ra. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think I actually just want the power potions here. They can be so much more impactful than most things can. Impatience? Do we... No, we have a lot of attacks in this deck. Yeah. I don't think there's any of these that we actually want right now. So we end up wasting a lot of our energy. Three random attacks into your draw pile, they cost zero this combat. Do I want to do that? Am I seriously going to do that to me? No. They're attacking from left to right, so... I'm gonna end up channeling a lot of lightning right here. Oh look, Thunder Strike's already up. Got him. All these smooth stones. Side each combat with one dex as well as... No. I don't need any of those. Alright. So start off with the boot sequence for the defense. Secret weapon will pull out... Let's pull out Core Surge here, I think. Also, let's get our power potions. Nice. We can get bias cognition because we have the Core Surge. Uh, buffer is actually quite good here, or can be rather, especially if the enemy does their large attack rather than their small multiple attack first. What a bad opening turn. Oh no, they're doing their multiple attack, damn it. At the very least, we do get our static discharges out. So it's time to bring the thunder. Thank you, Tori, for making this a completely viable thing to do. We would have killed the heart by now if it weren't for the fact that the heart becomes invincible after taking 300 damage in a single turn. 67. Good thing I got the reinforced body, yikes. Come on and Thunderstrike me. As in give me the Thunderstrike, not... I mean, you knew what I meant, but just in case. Let me be abundantly clear. Okay, good. There's Thunderstrike, so 62 times 10. Let me think, am I gonna have lethal with that? So 62 times 10, you take the zero from the 10 and you put it at the end of 62 and 620. Now the enemy has 200 and... You can see why I don't necessarily always count. I will occasionally be wrong by not counting. But there's a happy medium that you have to ride and I'm okay. Especially in the lower ascensions, not in like Ascension 20 where everything's on the line. Uh, but I'm okay with occasionally 
making mistakes in order to not belabor every single thing. Not every run has to be three hours long, uh, but the three hour long ones can be mm, super sweet. Especially not every run in A11. Anyway, for the moment, my name is been Raps. Uh, no, it's, it's been Schmidt. Uh, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all my content in this game, past, present, and future. If you do like the videos, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. I try and say that relatively infrequently, but here it is. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.